Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. In today's video, as you can probably see, I have a Pandora haul to share with you. It's more of a collective haul. Each of the items were kind of got at different times and now I'm finally getting around to sharing a look at what's new in my Pandora collection. One of the items actually is a very special gift, a little special gift from Pandora themselves. They sent me a really special charm and I'm really excited to take a look at it with you. It's been on my wish list for quite some time. So really excited to take a look. And then inside here, you can probably tell from the packaging if you're a Disney Parks lover like me, I have two Disney by Pandora exclusive charms to share with you guys. So. If you're ready to see a look at what's new in my Pandora collection, these are all Pandora charms, by the way, make sure, of course, to grab, there's mine, a delicious cup of tea or your choice of beverage. I am enjoying some Japanese Sencha green tea from David's Tea. It is so delicious, so I cannot wait to enjoy this as we zoom on in and take a closer look at these pieces. So without further ado, Virtual cheers, and let's get started with today's video. The first charm I'm going to be unboxing is a special gift from Pandora. This was totally unexpected and such a surprise. I had no idea what was inside this little box, but when I opened it, and spoiler, technically I already unboxed this charm earlier, but now I am filming it so you can see. And I was just so taken aback. This charm, I don't think they knew this, but it has been on my wish list since I purchased it as a gift for my aunt to represent her dog. And when I saw it in like real life, I was like, I am in love with this. It's such a sweet charm. So it is called the Hearts and Paw Print Dangle Charm. And on it, you can see it has the little inscription. It says paw prints on my heart. And then the paw is done in a heart shape, which is so adorable and sweet. On the back, it is plain. And I'm wondering if you can technically get the back engraved. I feel like you might be able to. It's not classified as an engravable charm, so I'm not positive, but I am curious about that. And it's so sweet. It definitely makes me think of my two dogs, Alice and Dinah. And it's so sweet as a double dangle. You can hear like it kind of makes like a little, little sound as it dangles. And then here you can see the back detail I was mentioning earlier. You can find the hallmarks on either side. And what is so sweet, do you see those little tiny little paw prints? I had no idea that was on here, that little detail, so sweet. And this is the other side and that's where you can see little paw prints again. I just think that is the sweetest little detail. I had no idea that was on here. Really warmed my heart when I was looking at this and discovering that. Do you guys have this charm in your collection? If so, please let me know down below how you have styled it. I would love to know. Right now, I am thinking I want to put it on my Alice and Dinah inspired, you know, pet themed Alice in Wonderland Disney themed Pandora bracelet. But I also think it possibly could make a really sweet O pendant design or a mini design as well. So many different ideas. Now for a lot of the reason why you guys are excited for this video, I'm sure is the Disney Parks haul. I'm very excited to show these pieces. I've actually had them for quite some time and I've just been meaning to like film this video. So I'm excited to finally get around to showing it. So the first one here, this is called the Disney Parks Castle Forever Dangle Charm. On it, you can see there's a couple, but for me, this really represents all my loved ones that I've gotten to enjoy Disneyland with. Disneyland is my forever place. I absolutely love Disneyland. I love the CZ detailing on here. It really catches the light. The castle shape is really, really beautiful. And this, honestly, the reason I really wanted this is it just reminds me exploring Disneyland, especially last year with all my friends. We had so much fun together. I still need to edit some of those vlogs where we get to meet up and have such a wonderful time. There's actually two that I'm really excited about that they're in it. And this just makes me think of us hanging out in Disneyland. It was so, so much fun. So I love this charm. As you can see, it says forever on the back here. And it is also, as mentioned, a double dangle charm. And I do believe I might've said the name wrong. It's a Disney Parks Pandora Couple Castle Forever Dangle Charm. I'm not 100% sure if that's the correct name. I was trying to confirm it, but I just couldn't find it. So if you do know the proper name of this charm, please let me know down below. With a little research, that's what I found the name to be. But I feel like it just sounds like a strange name. So maybe that's not it. Let me know if you know. As you can see on this screen right now, the hallmarks are on either side of the bale. 
and it does have that classic veil with the cubic zirconia accents, which is a nice complement to that backdrop of cubic zirconias for the castle silhouette. It is really pretty. So those are a look at those two charms. Now we're going to move over to the last charm, but first I need a sip of tea. I definitely need a sip of tea. I love this tea. It's so, so delicious. I definitely recommend checking it out. And now let us open up the last Pandora box. Now, as I'm doing this, there is one more Disney Parks charm that is on my wish list. It is the Alice in Wonderland one that came out. It's like Alice in the Treasure Cat. And it's like the unbirthday cake kind of inspired look. Oh my goodness, I love it. And I do believe it is available on the Disney Parks website right now. And I am just so, so tempted by it. So very strongly debating that. As I mentioned earlier, my dogs actually are named Alice and Dinah. They were inspired by Alice in Wonderland. So very tempted. But as you can see on the screen right now, the last charm here, this is the Tinkerbell and Fantasyland Castle Dangle charm. This is currently available on the Disney Store website. So I definitely will link it down below where you can find it. It is so magical. It has these beautiful like star green cubic zirconia surrounding it as well as clear cubic zirconia and this double dangle detail with little Tinkerbell with her little magic wand, her cute little outfit here. You can see her here. She is so cute. And here's again a little look at the cubic zirconia accents. This is just so magical. I just love the details on it. I'm just realizing too. All of these charms are technically double dangle charms, so pretty cute. I didn't plan that, but I love it. Here's another close up look at the star detailings. As you can see, it's a mixture of those Disney stars, so those wishing stars, as well as just like the traditional star look. It is such a detailed charm, very magical, and it just makes me think of, you know, when Tinkerbell lights up that castle, like such a magical detail. This would work, I think, for so many different Disney themed bracelets, but I'm thinking about doing, you might have seen, I, I'm going to mention this a little bit later in the video too, but I did get the Tinkerbell bracelet and then in another haul I had gotten a Tinkerbell charm as a Christmas present. So thinking I might do perhaps a Tinkerbell themed bracelet or something kind of combining her, something. I'm not sure yet, but we will see. Hallmarks, of course, are along either side of the charm. And then here is another little close-up look at it. It is just so pretty. So very excited to add this to my collection. I was curious to see though, I looked at the bottom and it's just a plain bottom. But for some reason, I thought it would just say, you know, Disney Parks or like, I think you can get this at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland. But I think it would have been kind of cool if they put Disneyland on the bottom and then maybe Walt Disney World for the others. But probably makes sense not to do that just so, you know, they can have it available in stock at a lot of different places without it, you know, being the wrong name. Do you know what I mean? That is a look at those different charms. Here's a look at them all together on the charm bar. If you're wondering where this charm bar it is from, it is from my Pandora jewelry box. They're so handy. I've been using them. I like that they're a little mini, so I can just share, you know, when I have a little mini haul, share all of them together. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a look at the three new charms in my Pandora collection. I'm just gonna put my tea over here. I'm so excited to design with these. I already have a couple different ideas of what I'm thinking, especially with the Tinkerbell castle. I, I just, if you saw my other Pandora haul, I just recently got in a beautiful Tinkerbell inspired bracelet from a friend as a gift. So I think that charm might look beautiful on there. So I'm gonna kind of think about it, but I already have an idea for that. The sweet paw print, I think 100% is gonna go on my Alice and Dinah pet slash Alice in Wonderland inspired Pandora bracelet. It's so perfect. So if I have enough room on it, I don't know. I feel like it's pretty, I don't know if there's enough room. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of play around with it and be able to squeeze it on there. If not, I can wear it as like a pendant while I'm wearing the bracelet. I think that would work out pretty, pretty good. If you're interested in any of the pieces I've shown, I'll have the names down below in the description bar of this video, as well as links on where you can find them. Sometimes the Disney store does have Disney Park exclusive charms available. So if they're currently available, I'll have links on where you can find those. Some of those links may be affiliate links, which means I do earn a small percentage of the sale if you decide to purchase one of the items. A huge thank you in advance if you do use those links. It really does help me out a lot. Anyway, you guys, I'm wishing you all a magical, wonderful rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.